uh, Josh is used to playing my Sonic, who's more patient. Right. So he, so but um, the Sonic Fiend has a big risk of just running headlong into a lot of stuff because he just. <laughs> He's running the risk of blocking up his face a lot because he just runs to just rush in there and Jash is going to poke him to death. Right. I mean, Jash is very good at playing his poke game. I wonder how Sonic Fiend's aggressive playstyle will fare against that. Like, I feel like some matchups, like, some matchups force you to run more than um, spin dash. So you have um, less commitment. And I think there's a lot of them. I think some people think that uh, Tunic is actually um, does pretty well against Sonic, actually. Because he's still nimble enough. Um, floaty enough, small enough, but still has all the projectile games of Link, the combos, and stuff like that. If not better combos. Probably better combos, yeah. I feel like they're they're a little more consistent in terms of killing. Right now, uh, Jash is um, having a little bit of trouble, I guess, with the style or anything else. He's pretty even right now. Yeah, maybe just some minor adjustments between game, uh, this game and the next. But for now, okay, that's a solid combo. Boomerang into two jabs with the up tilt and the up air, and then an up beat. And we see 40% on, on yeah, the board. Yeah, and he keeps on spin dashing into the projectile, so yeah, be careful. It was like 10 seconds ago, they were both at 40%, and now uh, Sonic Fiend is busy exploding. Yeah, there's, there's, no, there's not enough um, mix up in the way he moved forward. He's, he's moving straight lines to his face. He's not. Stopping midway, juking him a little bit, canceling the spin dashes. He's just, he's always a release. Right. Let's see what, what he can do, because he's definitely a chunk behind. Oh, oh see that? Now that's when you know your spin dash is predictable. Man did a tether grab <laughs> so far away. And you know what you did? And you just spam right into it. You didn't even like react to it. Like. <laughs> Oh no. Ooh. Okay, he went to the bomb with the spin the side B, which is smart. That's what you can do. Nice up smash. He can still win. <laughs> Good job uh, with the double back airs trying to catch uh, Dash's uh, recovery there. Like, there's certain ways Sonic has to like uh, deal with points off stage, like tether grab. He has to like, punch him a certain way if he really wants to go out there. I'd assume you can catch him with back air when they're rising up from the tether. Yeah, because they're, they're not. They're not invulnerable the whole time. They're only invulnerable when they go when you grab the ledge. The right. whole time they're vulnerable. So it's, if you know like what the trajectory looks like, you can hit it for. Oh, the nice up there. Uh oh. And Sonic Fiend knew it was coming. You heard the, the casual blow of a word out of his mouth after the bomb. And Sonic Fiend just moving around, just speed of sound, just trying to look for some opening. But right now, it's, okay, you saw that? He just uh, spin dash to a bomb again. Yeah. Oh, almost a read on Jash. Had he grabbed, he would have gotten the punish. <laughs> we need Sonic Fiend to mix up his spin dashes a little more. I know we said it before again, but we need to see some side B cancels, like, because Jash is just looking for the reason, just blocking or sidestepping them very easily. That's so. what it looks like. And he's stopping spin dash with arrows a lot. Yeah. So uh, Sonic Fiend hasn't really been able to get anywhere. He almost killed himself, but kind of got saved by Jester. That's cool, 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 cool. That was so close. All right. Jab one to run away so he can charge a bomb. I mean, take out a bomb. Not a bad decision. Ooh. Oh. He, had the, he spot dodged the boomerang to get hit by the up air. And it's looking like a massive oh. right now. And he, <laughs> that was like a three-step plan. Like. He threw out the bomb in front of him. He threw out the boomerang. He was like, he's going to land because the bomb's going over his head. Then he's going to shield against me. Then he's going to realize the boomerang's there, and he's going to try and do something. He's going to get hit. I'm already charging this up smash. Look at me. Yeah, man. And, uh, traps on traps on traps. <laughs> traps on traps on traps on traps. OK, so we're going to oh, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to yell at this dude real quick. Sonic Fiend, mix it up, for God's sake. All right, so he's been yelled at thoroughly <laughs> by yours truly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm rooting for Jack, but I just want to see if Sonic Fiend's going to go. He needs to go down with a fight. Uh, the last still one Sonic. started off as a fight and then turned into a bloody massacre. Yeah, it really Small did. boy decapitates red, that dog. Red everywhere. Okay, escapes the tether grab. Okay. So relatively even right now. That's what we said about the last game, and then, uh... Wait. <laughs> you did. But we're starting to see some more cancels with side B, actually, already. I mean... But he's already taken 62. Oh, he can... 
You gotta um, punish that. Yeah, I got. I would drop down, and get my bear on. I don't know about you. <laughs> I would get any kind of hit down there. Anything that says that you don't get to recover for free. Yeah. Hold free. this percent. And you see Josh grabbing the bomb and jumping up before tossing it down, looking for that spin dash. Just enough time to throw the bomb. Oh, oh, it's not safe. I mean, and you did a good job, Cat, of punishing that. You can make it safe, but um, safer, or it's really just a mix-up more than anything else. Not really safer. Ooh. Nice roll behind the arrow. He just needs to do something out of that. All right, that shield looks um, pretty low, so... All right. Oh. Oh, he could punish that up, too, but... Jabs. Reach that ledge, and he's gonna get hit. Dang, that up there lasts five ever, man. He didn't punish neutral get up. This is what happens. Oh, whoa. No, he's fine. It just looked interesting to me. Yeah. Uh, Grab him, throw him up. Unsafe oh, mix no, up. The bomb. And he air dodges into the ground, getting caught by the up smash as a result. That mix up was unsafe. Even though Toon Link was turned around the other way, he still had a bomb in him, which means he could have punished the spin dash mix up. Yeah, he got, he got like with the grab there. He should have him uh, he did a quicker throw. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, he did the Sonic Fiend. He's just doing attacks out right yeah, now. Yeah, the 3DF days. <laughs> I'll throw the air dodge read down air. All right, we got another spin dash on deck. Hasn't taken too much percent yet. You know, another thing, another thing I'm noticing is that he's getting chances where he's crossing up, uh, Jash up for jumping, etc. But he's not getting anything out of it, unfortunately. I feel like he's over committing to it and going too far, and then granting Jash the space to reset the situation. Yeah. Oh. Bomb okay. throw in air. It's looking a little iffy for Sonic Fiend right now. He's struggling to find a kill. No, that was oh. very young. Homing attack in that situation, almost any situation is bad, but he... Oh boy, that oh, was Nash just to do right there. And Josh takes a 2-0. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. On, on, inability by Sonic Fiend to really mix up his approaches and be a, just slow the game down a little bit. Um, pretty much sealed his victory there, even though in the beginning he always looked like he was in the middle of it, but then Josh would get one great punish and things just fall apart from there. Josh capitalizes hard on mistakes, yeah. Yeah, that's he for does. sure.